that uh, there's a couple of places that are trying to call us uh, to try to convince us to give them money so they could go and give t- buy tzitziot and give it to soldiers or buy food and give it to soldiers and, and, and uh, go do all types of things. Like we'll be the money collector and uh, they'll, they'll do the job. Generally speaking, we uh, don't work with any organizations anymore. Uh, we used to work with organizations. We had enough bad experience with some of them that we decided that everything we do internally. But anyway, somebody still brought this idea to my attention because there's so much going on right now. It's so difficult. There's a shortage in supplies of everything right now. You you cannot find a uh, uh, you know uh, a, a single supplier in Israel right now that actually has a, a, any stock left of tzitziot and many many other things. You can't find anybody that has uh, tefillin. Uh, a lot of stuff has just been bought and given and so on. And it's very difficult. And of course, there's always some evil people that are trying to capitalize on the thing and increase the prices on stuff. Long story short, somebody came up with the idea and said, listen, there's this one organization that they already have some stuff, but they need money. So maybe you can contact them. I don't contact anybody. Uh, but they uh, insisted and they called and they sent, sent some pictures. Look, there's a rabbi doing this and there's a rabbi doing that. And he's a picture over here and a picture over there. And uh, so I said, okay, fine. You know what? I had one of my assistants here in Israel. I said, you know, go make a phone call. Make the phone call and uh, find out some more details about who the pictures are. Can I actually go or send somebody to go to the base itself to give, you know, a little, meet the people, something. They make the call literally within about one minute. They let me know, okay, we're not going to do it. Oh, why not? It's a fake organization. It's a trap. And it's Arabs. It's Palestinians that are pretending to be Jews, that are pretending to try to collect money to help Jews. They've somehow gathered some pictures from wherever they gathered them. And uh, they're presenting as if they're doing all these things. But in reality, it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of Arabs. It's a bunch of uh, Palestinian terrorists that are uh, taking people's money as if they are a Jewish organization. And uh, it's very likely that they're, instead of buying food and tzitziot and, and helping the, uh, the Jewish people, they're most likely they're buying more missiles to hurt the Jewish people. But this, again, 99.9% of the people that are donating to these campaigns and organizations, they don't do any of these checks. You just see an organization, you see a cool video, has some effects, you like it, you see a little kid, you start crying, Donate 1000 bucks. Donate 2000 bucks. Donate $100. And then people are surprised when uh, you know their, their life is in ruins even though they gave tzedakah. That's because your tzedakah didn't go to the right places. If your tzedakah is going to the right places, you're supposed to have blessing in your money. If you're not blessing in your money, you still have lawsuits, you still have problems, you still have uh, you know major issues, there's something wrong. There's something wrong with the tzedakah that you're giving. Something wrong. Ay, ay. But Baruch Hashem, Hashem saved us from, you know, not only not wasting money by following our internal policy of not working with anybody, but also even when we considered it, we double-checked enough to make sure that uh, that uh, we, no one stole from us and so on. But uh, again, this this type of stuff is happening. There's, I know people are donating a bunch of money online, just like they did to Ukraine. I'd be surprised if even 10% of the money that people donated for the sake of helping Ukraine actually got to Ukraine. I'd be surprised if 10% are out. If billions of dollars were donated. I don't even know why anybody donated to it. They're Nazis. So I'm not really sure why anybody would actually support Ukraine uh, when they were, and still are, some of the biggest enemies of the Jews on planet Earth. But nonetheless, uh, people are stupid. And uh, they do stupid things. But even after that, even if you decide to be stupid, don't be stupid all the way. Be stupid halfway. At least make sure that the money actually gets to the destination. No. She, she, literally, people, billions of dollars were raised to go give to Ukraine. Very, very unlikely that the money ever arrived there. Very unlikely. And for a lot of different reasons. The amount of donor fraud that there is right now, you guys would literally cry if you knew. You'd cry if you knew. Many of the campaigns that are online, they don't go anywhere. I spoke to uh, somebody just uh, during the holidays. During the holidays. Literally. He said, I was a part of a campaign. Helping some organization. And uh, literally, the whole thing was fake. He was he didn't know it was fake. He said it was a fake in a different way. Why? You think, listen, they said that they are uh, raising uh, I don't know a million dollars 
and uh, they didn't raise much, and they just, you know, they wrote a bunch of numbers, and they put it on the computer and make it seem as if they did raise it to try to inspire people to, to donate, because they were embarrassed that they weren't really raising any money. All types of nonsense. So be careful who you donate.